welcome to episode 7 of Adventure SMP. I'm really, really excited that you're here. In this episode, this is our final episode in the first world, in the little main hub world. Um, at least for now. Maybe we'll come back to it. But I'm very excited. It does a cute little wrap up. Um, and next episode's going to be super special. It's a little talkback episode. We are going to start doing talkback episodes um, at the end of each SMP visit. Uh, one, to give you guys a little bit of like, hey, here's what's up, here's what we're thinking about, that sort of thing. To kind of just give like, here's what we thought of the world, um, here's where we think we're at with the like main plot line, um, things like that. And I'm really, really excited for that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And starting with Future Worlds, if you have any questions you want to submit to us or anything like that, um, feel free to do so. They might be like at the following world um but we can always like revisit things as well so if you guys have any questions comments concerns about anything tweet at us post in the discord if you're a member of the patreon post on patreon in the comment section doesn't really matter but let's get right into the show i'm super super excited it's a lot of fun and we start to give some bigger hints on the major plot in this episode so enjoy Welcome to episode seven of Adventure SMP. This is really exciting. <laughs> like, the, hey. I'm just so happy that we're like, it's actually, it's it's happening. You know? We're I, a good I chunk Tate, in, yeah. <laughs> I am Tay, your story leader, dungeon master, whatever you want to call me, as long as it's nice. My pronouns, which I constantly forget to say, are they, he. And I'm here today with my players. Hi, everybody. I'm Jamie, they, them pronouns. I will be playing Business Ray. Uh, they, them pronouns. He is a level one. They are a... <laughs> I did do it to myself already. <laughs> <laughs> they are a level one warlock. And they're here for business. Hi, everybody. My name is Eric. I go by Hey Good on all the things. Uh, I'm a Twitch streamer, podcaster, TikToker guy. Um, I keep forgetting to say, like, what? <laughs> like, why, why am I here? Um, I do that kind of stuff. Um, I'll be playing Peebus Jeebus, who is a level one human bard. Peebus's pronouns are he, him, as are mine. Um, let's get down to some business. Hold on. Peebus's name is Jeebus. Peebus Jeebus. <laughs> You didn't tell me this before. This is the first time I'm hearing about his last I've, name. I've introduced myself as Peebus Jeebus, like, you? several times. Like, yeah, I yeah. It. it just fully didn't click. It just clicked <laughs> just now. Anyway. <laughs> last but not least, our new friend, Petal. Yes, you Petal, did welcome. it. Hello. I am Petal. <laughs> I am new. Um, I am playing Groki, the level one plasmoid paladin flavored as a slime hybrid. Both of our pronouns are they, them, and I am excited to be all goopy again today. <laughs> but for the first time, because you're new. Yes, yes. First time again. <laughs> for the first time again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In episode six, our party started in an escape room all about Princess Fruit Snack. They solved it fairly quickly because um, apparently I did a too easy riddle, which I didn't know was possible with the D and D party, you know. But that's fine. Uh, they did it fast before moving to the salad bowl hedge maze, where Peavis just wanted to get out, and Business Ray and Groki spent their time finding three clues that Green had left behind: a heart. Green, red, and yellow, or green, yellow, and red concrete in that order. Uh, and a little room with two player heads, two diamond swords, a sapling, blah, blah, blah. The important things. Uh, and then they went and played some hide and seek. Uh, where uh, Groki just disembodied themselves and turned into a goop. Peebus pretended to be Groki, and Business Ray should have won with a really high score <laughs> on parkour, uh, but Peebus didn't want that. Uh, lastly, <laughs> lastly, we ended the episode with everyone singing happy birthday and eating cake, celebrating Princess's Fruit Snacks' birthday. It was a very successful party, and I'm so proud of everyone. I'm proud of everybody, too. Yeah, we did a great job, guys. 
So do we can either start at the very end as people are leaving or we can... What do y'all want to do? The party's over. It was successful. It was. I figured we'd go to see um, Tubbo again, you know, and Michael. Yeah, didn't they come to the party? I think they did. Did but they, they come to the party? party? Yes. I'm pretty yes. sure. Yes, yeah. we saw, yeah, we saw them. Really, we didn't cause... interact with them much because, you know, that whole situation's a little dicey. Maybe save that we for after the party. We got kicked out of their house. Yeah. <laughs> no, because yeah, Rambu kind of, like, stood at the edge of the dock because they came in via boat. Rambo stood at the edge of the dock very nervously a couple episodes ago, just kind of like, ah, hi, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they are, the three of them are heading back down to the docks to head back to Snowchester. Let's Snowchester. catch them before we go so we don't, we don't, like, break the rules of entering their house again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we can't do that, so we have to catch them. All right, so we catch them. Right? We All just right. do it. <laughs> you, guys, you guys chase after them. Do you say anything or just like run at them? <laughs> <laughs> I feel more like of we... a power walk. Yeah, exactly. It was more of like a we ran, we got, we power walked there, and then uh, we realized we didn't actually think of what we were going to say. <laughs> or at least Peebus didn't. I don't know. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. I'm glad everything's okay. Um, little guy, Michael. I told you I would give this back to you if I could, and I'm going to give him the gold armor. Aww. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, make sure you take that out of your inventory, yeah. but that's really cute. Because um, so- I said we just needed it to try to get you that, and we got him back. So now it's yours again. Oh, that's actually Pe- really Peebus cute. realizes that Gemini Tay might be watching. Because they're all kind of leaving, shuffling out. And so Peebus goes, I too, as well, will also give back the armor that I said to the child I would return. I shall do that now. And then I do. All right, take it out of your Minecraft inventory. Uh, I think you guys each got a plus one to your AC with it. We did. I don't remember for sure, but make sure you take that off too. Um, cool. So. Uh, Rambo and Tubbo, uh, Rambo's the one carrying Michael at the moment. Um, upon hearing y'all approach, they stopped and turned around. And then as soon as Business Ray talked about giving the armor back, uh, Michael lights up and just does like grabby hands for the gold armor. Nice. And he takes it and Tubbo actually does not look as upset as he did when y'all left. Yay! Um, yay! Redemption. <laughs> and he goes, "Well, um, thank you for finding Rambo. I may have overreacted a little bit. I still am upset that you suggested Michael come with you." Yeah, sorry about that. But I may have overreacted a little bit. Yeah, you may have. You may have. So I'll amend my kicking you out. You are allowed in Snowchester. But you are only allowed in our house if Rambo or myself are with you. That sounds fair. Thank you for letting us back. Uh, here's my armor, by the way. And Grokey's going to sadly hand it over because I no longer have. That means I have a 19 armor class instead of 20. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> I know. Poor me. 19 AC. <laughs> um. Well... Michael really wants the gold, but I guess you could keep the the diamond part if you wanted. We don't have much use for it. It's not super hard to get diamonds, but you could keep it as a thank you if you wanted. I can keep it? Yeah. Are you sure? Because, like, I wouldn't want to take it if you guys need it. No, it's easy enough to get more. Like, we're, we're fine. Um, keep it, awesome. Keep it as a thank you. Uh, you know, you found you found my husband, and Michael was ecstatic when we heard from Rambo. I was furious, happy <laughs> that he was okay, but furious. But yeah, uh, you keep it. Thank you, and yeah, Groki's gonna like equip that again. <laughs> I just realized that technically, with that armor, uh, I have Groki is wearing two things of armor. Is that a That's okay. one D&D is, one armor? Is, and <laughs> yeah, you get one Minecraft armor and one D&D armor. Awesome. I love that. I love that. 
Yeah, so thank you. Hey, you know what? You're welcome. Um, thank you for letting us back into Winter Garden. Winter Garden? It's Snowchester. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you around. I just wanted to make sure there was no... Hey, wait a second! Wasn't there a reward? And I turned to the group and I like stick my little Minecraft arms out. Was it? Was there a discussion? I genuinely don't remember. Do we need a reward though? Isn't it enough that we like reunited this family and all of that? You know what? I guess the real reward <laughs> was the friends we made along the way. And I was gonna I put say, my... too, we also, like, you get to keep the diamond armor, which is like, I mean, the chest plate's eight diamonds worth, the pants are, you know, seven, the helmet's five. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, like, yeah, hearing it out loud the, now that I think yeah. of it, yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty big reward. You know, I'm sorry about a second ago when I was all like, oh, reward and stuff. I was just, I was just trying to be cool. Uh, well, You'll have to forgive my friend Peebus here. He's, uh, he's new to business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um... Yeah, well, I wish you all the best in whatever it is you are doing. Uh, we're going to head home, put Michael to bed. It's it's going to be late by the time we get back for him, so. Okay, well, Thank you, you again. Of, yeah, you're very welcome. Have a, have a nice boat, boat time. <laughs> they turn around and they get in two boats, Michael in the one with Rambo, and they start rowing off. Well, that team, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good adventure. That was, that was good. We fought skeletons. Um, how, how do we get, does anybody remember how to get back to the place, to the, to the town? I'm sure if we like walk, we can get there eventually. So, um, if you turn around, uh, there is, um, the nether portal that was up to let people in has been put back up so people can leave. Cool. Um, so there's like a nether portal in the middle of the little square area. Um, and there's, you know, um, some people are grabbing some things like some of the people that were setting up are grabbing some things from the different buildings. Um, some of the people that were just visiting are, you know, heading out, saying their goodbyes, whatever. Uh, there's some people going through the portal. Uh, I guess I go through the portal. You don't. You want to talk with anyone else, or just head out? Well, I guess I. I mean, I suppose if, there are other people going through the portal too, right? Yeah. So you know, I might chit chat with the people around. You know, make nice. Is Gemini Tay around? <laughs> it looks like she's doing some cleanup. Okay. Oh, I I like walk over to Gemini Tay and just start like also cleaning up. You know, like a very after dinner parties in the kitchen vibes. You know. I just start like <laughs> putting things away, but I'm too embarrassed to like ask actually how to help. I'm too proud. So I'm just kind of like shuffling cool. things about playing it cool, um, you know, real cool. So she is, she's picking up different things, putting things in her inventory, putting things away, that sort of thing. Um, and just goes, um, Oh, I don't know if I said it, but, um, thanks to you guys for just kind of checking in with us and making sure that we checked in with other people. Um, yeah, we kind of got into like a build brain moment, you know, where we were just like really focused on building. Um, yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, no, uh, thanks for thanking me. I appreciate it. I, uh, I know it come on. I, come, I came on really strong. You know, um, I, I do that. I, uh, I don't usually I'm not usually around a lot of other players, you know, and uh, I just really want you. Know, I just want you all to like me. And, you know, I want to feel like I'm contributing, you know, so I really appreciate you saying that. Thanks. Thanks, GT. Yeah. Ooh, um... Okay, no, like, that didn't work. Ge that didn't work. Yeah. Let's just go with Gemini Tay. Gemini Tay. No, I just tested Gemini Tay, like, Gem is fine, too. A lot of people just call me Gem. That's, Gem. That's fine as well. Yeah. Well, thanks, Gem. That's that's fine. Yeah. You can um, call me P. Well, no, just Peebus. This is fine. Or Bus. I'm going to stop <laughs> talking now. Peebus is fine. Peebus is fine. <laughs> Peebus is fine. Um, yeah, um, I think I've got here pretty much under control now. Um... If you want to go check in with some of the other people, see if they need any help cleaning up if you're hanging around. Oh, uh, um, yeah. That would be great. I, I, yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. Thanks very much. And and I walk away. And as, and as I see Gemini Tay going back to what they were doing, I, like, don't go ask other people. I, like, go back to the group. But, like, I wanted her to think that I was. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so what's y'all's plan? Uh, wasn't there somebody else that we needed to check in with about, like, finding Aelin? So, Jane is back at the port, or back at the main hub. Um, she had been concerned about Aelin. Um, and then the only other, like, thing that I talked about, I remember talking about the one for Princess Fruit Snack. Um... The three god apples, which I remember Eric being interested in when I said that before. <laughs> yeah. Also, there's this, there's Linguini, right? I just have written in my notes Linguini. Was that another person we were looking for? I don't remember. Yep. Yeah, yes, it isn't was. Linguini the one we haven't found yet? Yeah, you're so right about that one. Linguini was not here at this party, actually. Is oh, a purple shit. slime? Is a purple slime? Actively was not here. Oh, was shit. also the one that was like went missing before this group of people. Bro. Uh I feel like uh, P- Groki would remember that more than Peebus would. <laughs> I don't think Peebus yeah, would remember I think that, that, that was going to be like Wasn't there hmm Groki's going to like scroll through their Grokodex. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> did you did any of you see this person and like pulled out their arm? <laughs> And you see a picture of a purple slime hybrid who you did not see at the party, actually. Fun well, fact. Well, are you were you you were putting that to the, to the people, right? No, to, I was putting it to you guys. Oh, to us? Oh, no, I did not. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. I thought you were asking like the group at large. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't see that. No, what? Oh, that's right. Hmm. There was another one. Maybe we should uh, first like check and let people know, like the people who like, we're looking for people that the people have been fed. I just said people a whole lot. That's <laughs> weird. People is not a word anymore. Anyways. Semantic uh, satiation. <laughs> Linguini, I think after after we do that and settle in and make sure that like everybody knows their friends are safe, I think we should try to figure out where uh, Linguini went off to. Oh, well, do we want to ask all these people here? Like maybe Linguini was just here and then, and then you know, they, they scuttled off. That that's actually a good idea. I didn't I didn't think to to ask. Uh, and then Groki's just gonna shout and say, "Hey, everyone! Did anybody see Linguini around?" As and uh, as when Groki like yells to get everybody's attention, you just see Peebus like putting away his goat horn. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the people that are left here um, turn back to you. Uh, and a couple of them walk up to, like, look at... Uh, I'm assuming you're, like, showing the wanted poster to yeah. anybody who's... Yeah. yeah. Um, so a couple of them come and, like, check it out. And everybody just kind of goes, nah. Like, you get a couple of, I don't know who that is. Sorry. Um, I'll keep an eye out for them. I've actually never seen a slime hybrid before you. You get from one of them. Um, Green and Scar are still there. Um, they come up and check it out. And Green goes... I have not seen this Linguini. Um, do you know? When did they? And like takes a like nice look at the wanted poster um, and then takes a moment and takes like a deep breath. And you see this like thin purple outline sort of glow around him. And just for the briefest moment, if you're looking, you see almost like a flash of wings behind him and eyes covering his body. But just as quickly as you think you see it, it's gone. Um, And he just goes, huh. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure who this Linguini is. What? Wait, sorry, who is this? This is Grian? This is Grian. Okay. So we all, so we notice, like the three of us all notice that that happened, that weird little. If you were looking at him, yes. Okay, I feel like I would be because he was talking. It was just the briefest moment. And if you, like, so quick that, like, you could convince yourself that you just imagined it. It was that sort of, like, there and gone sort of energy. Freaky. I guess Peebus, like, just kind of like exchanges some glances with with the rest of the party kind of like a do y'all what what, what what's what's happening here kind of look Groki's gonna like give a nod to be like yeah I saw it too uh 
is going to turn and just be like, so you have no idea where this person might be or where we could start looking for for Linguini? Honestly, uh, if you're looking for him, I'd try off world. Off world? How do we do that? Oh, um, there's like different portals. Uh, there's a couple, there's, there's one in the, you know, the building you spawn in, like the big tall one with the dome and the sky and the, yeah, like, yeah. the, the little people that are the same person. Um, yeah, you, in there, uh, there's a portal you can take there or you can build your own if you want one at your base. Um, you get, uh, it's like a mix of, uh, obsidian and blackstone. Um, you want the polished blackstone that, that works best. Um, and you alternate it in the, like, in a portal shape, and you light it, um, and then you jump through with, uh, with an SMP in mind. Or if, like, someone's invited you to one, you can, you know, you can, you go with them, and then they'll take you. Peebus goes, wait, well, you can't, you can't make a nether portal out of, with Blackstone, what a- No, it's not, it's not a nether portal, it's, it's like, a it's, um, well, how to- I really don't know how it works, but you just kind of like hop from server to server. So you keep saying server. So you mean server yeah. like what? So what are we in right now? The, this the, uh, oh, the this world. Is, this is uh, we kind of just call this one like ma- the main hub. This is, you know, like when your server is like done for the season or like you just need a break or whatever, you can just come back here and hang out. That's why everybody has like their own like land. Um it's for, like, you can, you know, come relax and, you know, take a break from whatever server you're on. Especially, like, um... Oh, so my friends were on one recently, yeah? Um, and there's, you know, some heavy, intense, you know, um... Storylines going on there, and so, you know, they just, they pop back to take a break and just, like, take some time, you know? Okay, um, so this is... It depends on the world. You said this one, so there's many more of these. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've created several myself. Okay, yeah. Peebus is not entirely convinced that this person is an insane, but <laughs> he's also just kind of like, all right, man, like, we'll go build the portal or something. I don't, like, all no, right. that's where I met Scar. Like, I didn't meet Scar in this world. I met Scar over on Hermitcraft. Is that like a, it's like a server with just oh, a, a bunch of crabs and shells? Server. No, <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's our private server, uh, with like, there's a group of us. We all like to do like big builds. Uh, Jem got on recently, actually. I saw you talking with her. Um, yeah. Okay. Mumbo's on it. Izuma, Corrales, you know, there's, there's a lot of us. Okay. Hmm. All right. That's I uh, this has been very clarifying. I appreciate it. Again, Peebus is not entirely convinced you, that this guy's not totally blowing smoke up his ass. Have you never been to another world? No, I have never been to another world, no. Oh. Like are you like brand new then? Like brand I'm new. I'm brand, brand new. new. <laughs> <laughs> I know didn't you mean are, to pedal. set that up. I didn't mean to set that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been playing in this. I've been playing, you know, I've been doing this for I don't know how many times, but, uh, you know, I have a whole little world. I call it Questcraft. You know, I've actually, I was looking for it for a long time, but nobody seemed to even really a, notice that I was missing. But is that your server? Is that your home server? No, it's my home little area. Yeah. It's, uh, I haven't been able to find it anywhere, though. I don't, I, it's like it disappeared or something. Hold on. Hold on. Um, so, like, it's like it's all. You didn't portal hop to get here because this is not Questcraft. There's nowhere here that is Questcraft. Okay. All, all right. Okay. I, I. All right. We'll see. Well, thank you. I, I. I believe you that there is a Questcraft, but it's just not in this world. Okay. All right. That's 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 fun. I appreciate it. At this point, Peebus is Peebus is like gone to the coordinates of like in this Questcraft world, and he's thinking like they must have just destroyed the whole thing. Oh, and just made it look oh. regular again. And so he kind of thinks he's like covering his tracks for that. So he's like, all right, yeah, sure. Okay, thanks, bud. Okay, well, if you want any help working on the portal or world hopping for the first time, just let me know. I can I can take you to one of my servers. We can make it like a real, you know, we could throw it on peaceful if you guys want just to like be in a new world. It could be a little bit much sometimes. All right, well, thanks. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. 
And I like turn to the group like, all right, let's y'all want to go build some portals that may or may not work. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. You said we had a place we could build. Yeah. 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 So I guess we jump in the uh, the nether portal and head back to the to the to the square to the main place. Awesome. Are you guys doing anything while in because it takes you to the nether, which um, for people who don't know, is a uh, hell esque dimension. Um, There's lava everywhere. Do they have like Um, a nether hub or are we just like walking through the nether? Uh, so there is like, when you get through to the other side of the nether here, there is like a little, it's not like a like hub hub in this particular area, but there is like a clear, like it's, uh, safe from different, like it's spawn proof. It's, you know, like they made it safe so that you're not going to come through and get attacked immediately. And there is at least what you can see is like a clear, safe path. Um, that there's a sign right before that says main hub, um, and has like a little arrow, I think it's very disorienting for Groki to suddenly like go from the, like and to like walk into Groki. I basically actually want help. you to roll me a d twenty. All right, this is gonna be like a lock check. Groki was not expecting it because Groki doesn't know what the Nether is. They no. were not expecting to suddenly walk into like this strange new dimension. Uh, sorry, what check was that? It was just a luck check. That's a 15. Okay, you can feel, like, as soon as you step through, you feel it is very hot and gross and arid. And, like, to the point, like, you're, like, a liquid-esque body. Uh, Like, there's, like, little bits of, like, almost steam coming off, and your skin is, like, it's not hardening or anything, but it definitely is less goopy. But you're But you're good. You're good. I don't like don't like this <laughs> business right you're in a suit right you're just really hot no you know it's just like the air condition is broken in the middle of summer it goes out all the time <laughs> it's worse than that but yes love the energy <laughs> because you've been here before it's it's the nether it's really hot it's gross it's disgusting there's toxic fumes sometimes depending on where you are you know it's it's not great oh classic yeah Classic, Classic nether. Yeah. Um, well, I guess I see that, yeah, Peavis is, or uh, uh, Groki's not really feeling it down here, so I kind of like, you know, don't waste time, and I just start going. Cool. You guys just go back to, like, the main area? Yeah. 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 Well, somebody else is I think that sounds there. good. Are you wanting to get any Blackstone? Because I Green had mentioned Blackstone, and oh, you can Blackstone only get that in the, is in the nether. That's right. Oh, we should get some then, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, well, is Groki, like, taking damage right now, or are they just, like, no, is not... No, no. Cool. Just, Groki rolled, like, good on the luck check. Um, anytime Groki enters the nether, there's going to be a luck check, and there's tears. Uh, the lower you roll, the less fun the nether is this time. <laughs> Fair. It's just hot and gross, and they're partially liquid. <laughs> very fair. Yeah. How much time do you want to spend? Are you looking for like naturally spawning blackstone, or like I mean, like um, uh, like the like any structures with it? Are you like just digging for it? I suppose I'm just digging for it. You know, just efficiently okay. digging for it. You know, do we have Y levels for for the Nether as well, or? Oh, I haven't made that because I didn't think about it. It's okay. Do you want to say it's as rare as redstone is in the overworld? So, okay. It is found below lava level. Right. So you'd have to dig down a bit unless you find... A bastion, which I'm assuming you probably don't want to, seeing as y'all just gave up your gold armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we will, yeah, we'll say it's like redstone, um, but we'll also do a luck check with it to see if you run into lava. Okay. Um. So would you like me to roll luck first? Yes. Okay. We'll use that to help determine 
I will also be helping dig. Do I need my own luck check? Either each of you can do a luck check or you can one of you can do it with advantage. Eric me, do it with advantage. Alright, I'll do it with advantage because that was a three. So <laughs> yeah. So glad I said that before you said Ooh. what the roll was. And that is a nat twenty. Beep beep. Awesome. Nice. So, Phoebus, teamwork. you teamwork. have been to the nether before. You know to listen for the lava as you're mining. Um, you're being careful about mining and also getting extremely lucky. Um, so, how long do you wish to mine for? Like the smallest interval of time that Okay, I we'll can. say one hour. So, take one hour off of whatever pickaxe you're using. Mm-hmm. And you can roll for, we'll say, 3d6 blackstone. All right. Oh, come on. It's going to be an 8 blackstone. That should be enough still, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, you get 8 blackstone. Cool. Go ahead and add that to your inventory. Sweet. So I run back up my little spiral staircase or whatever I used, and I go like... <sighs> okay, I got it. I got it. We can go. Don't awesome. worry about it. Let's let's get out of here. Cool. Um, so you guys go back to the main area, and when you exit the portal, you actually appear in the big room where you all met each other. There are the uh, little little overall people standing around, and they all turn to you as you exit the portal. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I guess- they wave. I guess I just Peebus would just kind of like stroll through, you know, sort of like, cool. come yeah. on, let's go. And we just walk through. Y'all heading to the inn? I guess. Yeah. Did Aelin check in with their the with Jane? Supposedly, you were not with Aelin, but you did tell Aelin. So okay. supposedly, because we also need to get some obsidian, which sucks to mine. So we might be better off asking Jane if she knows where we can get obsidian. That could be a good idea, yeah. Yeah, so we go to the inn. Cool. Uh, so you enter the inn uh, to find um, Aelin and Jane both there. They're sitting at a little table instead of someone behind the bar. Um, and when the door opens, Jane looks over and has like this like... You know, like when someone's like so relieved that they start crying, like that's the sort of that's what Jane's doing. Jane is crying, Aww. but you can Aww. tell that it's not like upset or anything. It is out of like sheer relief. And she gets up Aww. from the table and she runs over and she hugs. She hugs Groki because Groki was the one that like did most of the talking to her uh, and just gives Groki, you know, a nice hug. and just goes, thank you. Well, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy we could help. Um, I have, I have, um, I said, I said if you found her and she got back, like I said, I have stuff and she like pulls away from you and like just starts like reaching into her pockets. Um, she pulls out like there's a couple like gold ingots in her pocket and she pulls out a couple iron. There's like a diamond, a couple emeralds. Like she's just like digging through her pockets, like setting them on the table, like trying to like figure out because she said she'd give you what she could she's like i don't have a lot but i'll give you what i can was what she said when y'all were in here and so she's like trying to like hold that end up and like digging through her pockets looking to see what she has to to give y'all as a reward i think part of me wants to be polite about this but we'll need something to exchange for obsidian so i guess peebus is like Oh, you don't have it. It's okay, but like totally performative. He's like, oh, it's fine. Just thanks. I mean, yeah, sure. But, you know, thanks. And I like kind of look at Business Ray because Ray's Business Ray's biz- all business all the time. So I'm like, Business Ray, what do we do here? Out of character, bad time to say all business all the time. Because here we go. Well, you know what we could really use, Peebus? A droid that understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. Oh, that was a good movie. I bet you didn't see that one. Oh, I bet that was an incredible reference to those who get <laughs> that one. That one was an obvious reference, but I don't know what it was for. I and don't that's going to make it even better. It's for the one person who gets it. Well, I, I guess... Uh, no, I, didn't. I I guess I say to Jane, like, hey, well, you know, if you really wanted to help us out, you could... You know where any... um. 
or we might be able to get some obsidian without having to mine it. You know, if anybody just has some or we can maybe trade with somebody. Um, Aelin, who's close by, actually stands up at that and comes over um, and goes, oh, yeah, you need some. I have an obsidian farm, actually. Uh, I have so much of it, actually. Wow, those are really uh, hard to make. My friend helped wow. me set it up. Uh, yeah, my friend helped me set it up a while ago. Uh, he did all the work. I've been, I mean, he did all the work to set it up, and I've been doing the work since. Uh, how much you need? Uh, ten? Let's say ten. Ten? Uh, she... Wait, goes, let's say twenty? Uh, she goes to the back, <laughs> and she comes back and hands you an entire stack of obsidian. Wow, gee whiz! Sixty-four obsidian. That's pretty good. Um, so one of you, whoever wants to take it, can add it to their inventory. <laughs> she goes, yeah, I did not mean to worry, Jane, and just thank you. She's very, very scared and nervous, and thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Like, Groki, you, I, I figured Groki would want to take the obsidian so yeah, that they I can, can take it. bloop it into their goo. Yeah. Mm, mm, blooped obsidian. I was going to take it because it sounds expensive and we can't trust Peebus with it, but Groki's a good choice. <laughs> That's so funny. We can't trust Peebus with expensive blocks. He'll build something crazy out of them. I don't know what he's going to do with them. <laughs> Um, Aelin then turns back and goes, do you guys need anything else? Like, I have quite a few farms. My friend and I, we set up probably more farms than we should have. But we did it anyway. Uh, a flint and steel would be pretty great. Oh, yeah, easy enough. She pulls yeah, an iron and a flint out of her pocket. And nice. Just goes, Here you go. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to just start asking for everything. <laughs> <laughs> but but Peebus, Gemini Tay is softening the heart of Peebus. So Peebus is going to be like, <laughs> uh, you know what? Th 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 you know, this is great. Just th thank you so much. This is really great. Yeah. Oh, um, did y'all, y'all, um, at least Jane said some new players. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, yeah, do you have I'm a new. house set up? Do you need, do you need some, some house supplies? Uh, I think yeah. that's what we were about to go work on, eh? So yeah, that that might help. What kind of house are you gonna make? You want cobblestone, stone, wood? Like what you what you building? What you looking for? Yeah, I could just you know cobblestone, wood, uh, you know, right, whatever. Some some wool maybe for carpets and whatnot. You know, just take you know whatever you think might be necessary for a nice little Minecraft house. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'll I'll throw some things. Um. Yeah, okay, give me a sec. And she, she goes to the back, um, and she comes back out probably two minutes later, three minutes later, um, and hands over a red shulker box. Nice. Oh, well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I, like, set it down and peek inside, and I'm like, oh, this is great. This is perfect. Thank you so much. I, I assume it's a bunch of, like, cobblestone and some wood and rando stuff. There's five stacks of cobblestone. Wow. Three stacks of spruce. Three stacks of dark oak. Logs. Logs, I should say. Nice. There's three stacks of birch. There's four stacks of stone. Two stacks of bread. Nice. A stack of carrots. A stack of potatoes. A stack of seeds. That leaves four more spots, because she would have filled it. Aelin would have filled it. That's an Aelin thing to do. Um, a stack of iron. Wow. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? A stack of apples. I was going to say maybe some I have apples, that's... <laughs> um, two more things. I need two more things. What are some things Aelin would give? I don't know. Uh, leather? Stack of leather? Yeah, we'll do a stack of leather and a stack of white wool. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty it. Yeah, that's a full Damn, that's of kitted. Stuff. Fucking kitted with early game supplies, <laughs> baby. That sounds like a whole lot of not having to roll dice to mine. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds like, that sounds like about an hour of dice rolling right there. <laughs> it's a bit. Um, yeah, do you guys have a plot of land already? Yeah, I do. I have a little area. Oh, okay. I think 
We did establish. Yeah, we had, we'd established yeah, that a little yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a little area. Thanks. Well, I, I really appreciate it. This um, is really helpful. Um, one more thing. Do, do either of you know of anybody named Linguini, who that is, or what they're up to? Um, Aelin just goes, nah, I haven't heard of a Linguini. Um, and Jane goes, Linguini, do you have a picture? I've got a they, picture. What do they look like? It holds up the Grow Codex. Oh, this a is purple this. slime. No, mm-hmm. I haven't seen a slime hybrid before you. Sorry. If I hear anything, I'll let you know, though. Okay. Sounds sounds good. We're just, yeah, looking looking for Linguini. All right. Well, I hope you find them. Well, thanks uh, very if much. If it's anything to go by, you seem to have a pretty good track record of finding people. I heard you found, like, six or seven people. Yeah, you know, well, you know. So. It helps that they were all in one place. They were. <laughs> one place. That's right. You still found them. Yeah, it's like when you grab, like, one so. toy with the claw machine and it, like, knocks over a whole bunch of other ones under the thing. It's the same thing. And I say, well, all right, well, thank you so much. All right, well, we're going to get to it. You you have fun over here. And uh, I guess I, I lead us to my my little plot, which is, I think we established it's pretty close. It's not like a trek. It's, you know, it's probably not in the town square, but it's, like, in that little main it's area. It's a bit off. Uh, so there is a nighttime that is going to happen on your way there. Oh, shit balls. So, Minecraft sleep, long rest, which she, what's the plan? I'm going to take a long rest, I think. Yeah, I'll take a long rest, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need either of them, so. You building a dirt hut again or whatever? Well, we're like in the town, right? Are you, you staying in town or for the night? Like, it's probably like early afternoon. You could dilly dally around the town, take a nap there and then. Yeah, I figured well, there was the, the communal spawn point spot. Cool. You know, figured we'd. Cool, then y'all just get a long rest. Yay! I ain't awesome. gonna make watches, I ain't gonna... You're in town, it's safe in town. Sweet. Um, cool, then I suppose at daybreak, I lead us to the place. Cool. Uh, you guys are walking, um, and you walk through forest, you walk through, you know, some flower biome, um, and you then make it to where Peebus you recognize. Um, and the reason you recognize it is because you remember building on this land. There's nothing here anymore, uh, but it is a decently flat plains area. There's like, um, a mid-sized hill off to one side. Um, it turns into a forest on the other side. And there's, like, a spot where, like, a nice house could fit. Um, there's, like, a couple layers up where, like, you could build a tier farm. Uh, like, just, like, it's a very nice building spot. Like, this is something where you took time, um, like, way back when... And looked around because you were like, I want a nice spot to build. And you found this plot that has like plenty of forest by it. There's birch trees, there's oak trees and spruce trees all within, you know, a few hundred blocks. Yeah, but it's an open area. The area where, you know, is an open area uh, clear. of. There's like a couple trees. There's grass everywhere, but there's like a couple trees, like two. One has a beehive on it. Nice. Cool. Well, and I guess um, I'm t- uh, I- I'm really I'm curious about the portal thing. So, like, I guess Peavis like puts the shulker box down and like starts to consider like, all right, we'll build a little thing here. Um, but he gets he just keeps like he doesn't really think the portal thing's gonna work. But he's like, I gotta I gotta check it out. And so he uses um, the obsidian and blackstone to arrange a portal in the way that Green said to arrange it, um, and then lights it with the how many pieces does it normally take? Ten? Uh, ten normally, yeah. Three, six, nine, ten. Not counting corner pieces, so Fourteen. bare minimum I'm ten. I'm going to count corner pieces, so you need seven of your black stone, and you need seven of your obsidian. Okay. Oof, just squeaking by with the black stone. Um, yeah, and then I light it with the, uh, with the flint steel, assuming I have to light it. Yep. So you place it down, you light the portal, and as it, the flint and steel hits it, 
the portal lights up with not the normal nether purple color, but like uh, it's like a shifting. It goes like a bluey green over to like a ruddy yellow. Like it's just constantly shifting colors. It still has the like swirls that a normal like nether portal does, but it's constantly shifting colors. Um, and just if you are standing right next to it, you just can hear like one word like different voices all each saying like a word or two is it like shifts the colors um and the words are coming in and out so you hear you know just like something like built here um i'm gonna go this way like just like any like random things in sentences you just hear the at at the you know just coming through the portal if you are right next to it as it shifts the colors wow very vivid um peebus like jumps back when it actually works and sort of looks to looks to his friends and just like in sh in shock and goes okay we are officially outside of my understanding of how things work here should we go through it then figure out what this does uh experiment a little i i'm i, I would love to do some experimenting that sounds great to me i pick up the shulker box i was gonna say yeah but bring that stuff with us if we're going <laughs> Are you guys taking everything with you? Are you leaving anything? Are you building anything before you go? Groki's taking everything that they have. Okay, and how much... Which armor did, did they have us keep again? I know I... Uh, I think Groki's was the only one that was kept, because y'all had, like, right. mostly gold. Yeah. Cool. Um, then I'll make... A quick, how much more iron? I do. Do I have enough iron? I do. Um, so I guess I'm you just going to... so much iron now. I know, right? Um, I'm just going to real quick plop a crafting table down, which I have. I remember to pick it up at one point. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, you did. You did. Uh, and just use the uh, the my remaining... I think it, I'm just... I'm not going to do the math, but it would easily use all of my remaining iron to just make both of us full iron armor. Okay. For business uh, ray. So you guys get plus two to your ac if you're choosing to wear it groki also has plus two i think groki only has three of the four pieces of diamond and one iron i'm pretty sure that's what it was so groki gets plus two you guys get plus two for having just iron if it was all diamond it would be plus three got it yeah that sounds good to me rock and roll right. are you guys jumping through yeah and then we jump through the portal Yes. All right. That's the noise Who's that another portal first? makes, by the way. Just uh... <laughs> Who's going first? Okay. Yeah. Groki's going to, like, Groki's ex pretty excited. Groki <laughs> loves experiments. Groki's going to, like, dash through. Roll me a d20. Okay. Shit. There's a very particular really way that a DM nervous. says roll a d20. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Where you're just this like, is the oh, part shit. that I've been nervous about. <laughs> that this is the part is... I've been nervous about. I got a 19. A 19. You disappear. You watch the world disappear around you. And as it starts to reappear, Groki, you feel oddly empty. Your inventory that's been floating about you, specifically the Minecraft one, is gone. Disappeared. And same with Peebus. If you were to look at your Minecraft inventory, it's gone. No. Keep track of it, but it's not here right now. Still keep it, but it's empty at the moment. And same with business, right? It's gone. And you appear on like this stone floor in this vast open space to hear the, just to hear this laugh. It's just. <laughs> echoing throughout the way and you stand and just as you appear you watch as you know a person appears next to you nearby and slowly you see people appearing around you and this what oh initially the first few moments was this vast and wide open space is now becoming crowded and dense with various players and people as you look up and ahead of you, there's like almost this projection of um, this man with like red, bright red eyes. It just goes, time for the next game. And that 
as we were going to end the what? session. What the frick was... Who is... <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> so, to, I just want to point out to non-Minecraft players who might be hearing this, there is no in-game mechanic for switching worlds. You just no, go out <laughs> into the main menu screen and pick an... So there isn't one. So Tay mm -hmm. made all of that up, and it was awesome. <laughs> Fucking round of applause. That was incredible, Tay. Thank you. So, like, this official... This is all, like, Minecraft, but this is all... I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't missed, that you yeah. made up all of that stuff. The Blackstone and Obsidian, like all of that. Yeah. That's yeah. so <laughs> fucking rad, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, oh, I was really nervous about your guys' first jump. I was really nervous about y'all's first jump and oh, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. <laughs> I'm going to spend, in, until our next session, I'm just going to wonder like what the other oh, roles would have been, if not 19. Um. So what I will tell you is 19 is now, if you roll a 19, next time you guys want a roll top, uh, I'm going to make you re-roll. Okay, okay. Uh, that is part of, uh, that's part of this, is is I want y'all to go to multiple. Also, y'all now, um, by next session, uh, please level up your players to level two. Hey! Ooh. Nice! <laughs> Um, yeah, oh my god. And send me the info so that I can update your character sheets. I'm so excited. Oh boy. Yes. Nice. But that is it for episode seven of Adventure SMP. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week, which is gonna be a like little like talk back of the first world, like a little discussion talking about it and stuff. So woo woo! Woo oh woo! Boy. Thank you so much for listening to episode seven. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, if you'd like to talk to us about it uh, on our social media handles, uh, you can find us at Adventure S M P P O D over on Instagram and Twitter, uh, or our patreoncom slash Adventure S M P podcast. Um, as I said in the intro, next episode is going to be a fun little like talkback episode. I genuinely don't know if I'm even going to do an intro or outro for that one. I probably, at the very least, I'm going to do an outro, but I don't know about an intro yet. Um, very little editing. What the talkback episode does genuinely is it gives a chance for uh, me personally to take a little bit of a break and a breather. Um, and to be able to focus a little bit on the up and coming episodes, um, because I'm trying to time these decently well where the talkback episodes will post, um, around the time, ideally, that we're starting the following world after the one that you guys are going to see. Um, also, what'd you think of the ending? What'd you think of the ending of an evil little laugh? I thought it was super fun, but yeah, I hope to see you guys next week. I hope you enjoy the show. Goodbye!